I love it when I see Debbie from Oswego, Illinois. Because I does she say that word the same way as you? Like, How else would you say Os Oswego? It looks, I would say Oswego. So I don't know. Debbie, you'll have to tell us what the pronunciation of in Oswego Illinois, is. In Illinois, it might not be the same. That is, you know. Right. Like, what is the, there is a town in Raleigh, near Raleigh. Beaufort and Buford. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's one oh, near, that is another example. Yes. That wasn't the one I was thinking of. There's one in near Raleigh and there's one in New York that are spelled the same, but said differently. Because I went to SUNY Oswego for college. So I was What's in What's the city that you're thinking of? I can't remember. Oh. I'm going to think on that. How is everyone? Yeah. I am so happy to be here today. We are going to play with cover plates and talk about adding texture and dimension and pattern to your cards. It's so easy with cover plates. And our Stamp Nation members have a coupon code to get one for free during the month of November. It is one of the perks of being a Stamp Nation member. Other perks include early ordering of our large collections, which come out most months. Yes. They get... Quarter, well, this month, this year, we change things up from we time do. to time. For 2023, we did a class every single quarter, mm -hmm. Zoom style, with our members. So we get together and hang out and chit-chat and have fun and create and make cards together. And the next one's December 13th. That is going to be a holiday party. So it's our Christmas party. Get on your jingle bells <laughs> and join us. They get product perks. So this quarter, they get a free cover plate. The uh, quarter one of 2024 will happen very early in the year, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And the Stamp Nation members, your product perk at the beginning of January is going to be a brand new product that you get to get for free. Yes. I just spilled some memes. You did. Yeah. I just read um, Lisa Lisa's question that rock candy. Is that that Tim Holtz stuff that we got in the big cool jar? Oh, the big glitter? What yeah. about it? What is it? She it's said, glitter. what is it? Oh. It's amazing glitter. Yeah. And it's been flying off our shelves. The, you guys are loving it. The containers are ginormous. Huge. And they're like really fun. And I'm yeah, like, so I don't know what that is, but I need it because so the packaging is cute. I know. I haven't pulled it out to use it yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that is what is going on. So we thought yes. we would talk about cover plates today. Stamp Nation membership is monthly is $9.95. Quarterly, you get a little bit of a discount, so that is $27. We recommend jumping in with a quarterly subscription so you can try it out for three months and see how amazing it is. And then you can also jump in with a yearly subscription and pay $99 for the year, which is even more of a savings. Best value. And with a cover plate being $24.95, it's kind of a no-brainer to join right now mm -hmm. and get in for those perks. You pay for a quarter at $27, you get your $24.95 cover plate for free. Some of our existing members think that the promo means buy one, get one. So they're getting two. So they're getting two. <laughs> and I am going to provide you with all kinds or of... Or two for one. So they're getting two. to put on your list today. So let's take a look. I mean, I think you should, like... And I, look how smart we are. If I was going to do this, I'd get two because I'm like, oh, well, I'll just get me one and then get one for free. That's, that's good math, right? That is good math. This is the four <laughs> window cover plate. This one is really fun. It makes these little windows. Yes. I love how Lisa Harrell put the little hearts on here and then she added the animals inside. That's really fun. Think of all the different things you can put in the windows to surprise your recipients. Oh, that's sweet. It is adorable. Tiffany, happy belated so birthday. Cute. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to anyone who has a November birthday. So that is a four window cover plate. You can get it for free being a Stamination member. Um, thank you, Erica, for putting all of the <laughs> names because you know how we're name challenged. Okay, so if you want polka dots, you can get throwing confetti. These are wonky dots, wonky in spacing and wonky in shape. Yeah, it's a more of a random pattern. Really fun pattern to add to your cards. These circles cut out. I have a card on my desk with that because I did two things. I used the confetti to, to make a shaker oh, card. Oh, grab it? It's on your desk? Yeah. And then I did that. 
You can also do polka dots. If you are a straight person, do your polka dots. So two different options there. When you do this, save all the little bits because then you have confetti to add to a shaper card. And here are two samples with that polka dot cover plate in the background. Cute. That's sweet, that opening okay. card. Polka dot and throwing confetti. Then we have a pedal connection. Friends, this one is retiring. We're pretty low on stock right now, and this item, when it's gone, will what? not be restocked. I know. But I love pedal connection. I do, too. So here it is on a dreaming of time with you That's with the little torts. Pedal connection. This is it? No. What is this? Um, give me a minute and I'll tell okay, you. Okay, she's going to find it, so maybe <laughs> I'm misspeaking about that one. Little Island cover plate. This one is really fun. It has a little sun, some palm trees. You have the sand here. And then we have another one that is similar in style. Some of these have texture and cuts on the leaves. And this one is called Deepest Darkest Peru. Do you it want to tell is. them why you named it that? Yeah, well, we did a, a South American inspired collection. So we wanted it to be something from South America. And Paddington Bear is from Deepest Darkest Peru. I love that. In the jungles of. So, so cute. Deepest Darkest Peru. Yep. And Little Island. Two wonderful colors. La Isla ladies. Bonita. Maybe that is Pedal Connection. Okay. <laughs> then we have Retro Star, which is so fun. Uh, Alina created this one, took all the little die cuts and popped them up meticulously on this one. So these cards are also showing you a lot of different ways to use these cover That's plates. That's gorgeous. I would love, Debbie, to know everyone's cover plate. Pop your comment in the comment section. There, there are quite a number of choices. I kind of feel like giving away another free cover plate to Just one person that is on today? the live today. I love it. So in the comments at, toward the end of the live, don't let me forget, I'm going to pick someone at random to get another free cover plate with their next order. So I don't know how we'll arrange that. We'll have to figure it out. Okay. But comment your favorite cover plate. That you don't have. That you don't have. Oh. Oh. Or that you do have. Oh, What's the question? <laughs> one that you do have and one that you don't have. And then the one that you don't have is the one we'll send to you. How about that? I love it. Let's give one for free. Then we have wavy lines. Well, you can't find that. Catherine, let me tell you. If, if it is Pedal Connection, it's already retired because it's not <gasps> in the system. Uh-oh. Okay, so, never mind. Skip that. Whoops. Sorry about it. Then we have wavy. So here it is with a watercolored background. Okay, I'm back. Oh, Joanne. I did see that you commented that somewhere. So Joanne is a longtime beloved member of Stamp Nation. She has all of the cover plates. <laughs> so she ordered one for her friend. That is so nice. And she picked Flower Burst cover plate. Good choice. I love it. That was so kind of you. Then here is another one with the watercolor background. These little pieces here that were cut out were then added onto the card with foam tape. This is Christy Goulet, Christy Goulet, and another Christy Goulet. Ah, so cute. I love that cover plate. Yes, yes. Sue needs to be. Oh, Jenny introduced. said we sold out of Pedal Connection last week. Okay, so Sorry. it's gone. Oh, Crisscross applesauce. That's nice. That's another one of my faves. This one is half circle cover plate, and it's really cool because it coordinates with the half circle background stamp. Mm -hmm. See, they line up so that when you die cut this and you stamp this, then you put this over the, the stamped image, and it's very cool. Like this. Texture, color, dimension. And this one was using the cover plate as an embossing yeah. element. Now someone asked the other day for us to like, cause they saw Catherine's video. There's a certain plate you need in your die cutting machine in order to make that work. For the big shot, you're going to use the emboss and transfer set. 
If you have another die cutting machine and you email us to ask us what to use, I'm so sorry that I can't answer that question. Because <laughs> right. I only have the Sizzix Big Shot. We don't know. We just so, don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I know that with the Sizzix Big Shot, you use the embossed and transfer set. And when you run it through with this, you get an embossed image pattern impression instead of cut. Because that silicone layer has more give and it's not as thick as yeah. your regular well, cut plate. It pushes, it makes the blades push down on the paper. Right, but not so hard that it cuts through. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Then you can do that, ink blend, die cut. Such fun. Then we have sunburst strips. This is a favorite of mine. Look at this. Uh, Melissa Andrew did this one. I love how she did the dimension tape underneath the rays. Shine, beautiful one. This is so great. <laughs> Sunburst strips. Mm -hmm. Then for Christmas, we have Belly Laughs, Peppermint Twist are just a couple. So this one cuts out Ho 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 and some snowflakes. This one cuts out the little whirly gig in the center with an embossed circle around it so that it looks like little peppermint candies. And with that one, I take the whirly gigs and cut, color them in, cut out little circles from my circle dies, and make peppermint. Um, someone got eek boo, which is oh, like yeah. the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Playful pinwheel. So this one right so here doesn't cute. actually cut out. It just does stitch lines around the shape, the little Thank petal. Mm -hmm. And then someone said crisscross applesauce. Yes. Then we have that one is angled strips, and this one is mod strips. These are must-haves. Yes. Two right here. Must-haves. This is a must-have. This is a must-have. They're all must-haves. White birch, if you're doing any kind of forest scene, definitely need this one. Capture the flag. This one is very cool. There's a card I should have grabbed in Debbie's office using this where I think Patricia made it and she die cut patterned paper and then laid it, oh, that, it onto her card. That card's really cute. Really gorgeous. Yes, like quilted. If anyone in the office is listening to this, go grab this card from Debbie. Bring it in. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, narrow strip. Stripe. Stripe. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, the strip ones cut the whole strip off with no frame. The stripe ones cut out stripes from the frame. That's a little important difference. Because this is a little bit bigger than your card front, and that cuts the card front. So, perfect. We have Jack Frost. This is a really fun design. And Feeling Hexy, which always cracks me up because my kids were horrified that we were naming this Feeling Hexy. And I thought it was hilarious. It's a great name. Just like my mother said, you cannot name an ink pad hot tub. And I said, watch me. It's the hot Love tub. you, Mom. <laughs> And then Rocks Glass is another cool pattern. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's my... I had the um, the two that make the plaid. Argyle, it's right there. Argyle. Mm -hmm. I want to do something with the Argyle. Okay. And I kind of want to do something with Petal Connection. Okay. So, there we go. These can all go over here mm -hmm. and I already die cut these these were created so that you can use them alone or together to make an argyle that is so awesome I want to say out loud and I could be wrong that I have made at least one card with every single cover plate because I love our cover plate so whenever we have a new cover plate I go home and make a card I can, like, think of the cards that I made with them. So Hello. fun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Melon Ice. Yep. You're doing that. And direct to paper. Make Melon Ice cardstock. Oh. Yes, please, and thank you. Ah, love it. Ah, I hear the door open. 
happening? It's me and Patricia. Okay, come and Please. share. Yep. Come on did in. Did Patricia make it? She did. All right, come on come in. in. You guys come in and show your card. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Look at that. Debbie this and Patricia. It's so Patricia pretty. made that. Isn't and that amazing? Patricia, that's the 12 by 12 you used, right? It is. Yeah. Okay. I actually, I made a whole bunch of, the, of thank you cards because my brother and his wife had specifically said, hey, could you make us some thank you cards? Uh-huh. Oh, wait, this way. I so to... I die cut those uh... papers that I liked out of, or I die cut a bunch that, of them. that cover plate yes. out of all the papers I liked. And then repiece them. And then repiece them together. It's a beautiful... So you could basically get, so if you cut the die cut out of one of this sheet, yeah. Then this, then this, then this, blah, blah, blah. You'd have all of those. You'd get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, 12 cards. 11 or 12 cards. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. I love how you put the patterns together. Thanks. I was pretty happy with this. Isn't that amazing? Yes, <laughs> I love it. Thank and you for bringing that in. in. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye, guys. Thank you. And then she gave the card to Debbie. Yes, That's she so did. nice. Because people around here are kind. <laughs> Debbie's stealing cards, Catherine, has just so you on. know. She, I have a bin of cards for Debbie. <laughs> yes. She did say um, earlier this morning that she sent off a batch of cards to Cards for Kindness at scrapbooks.com today, and she was really excited yes. about it. Yes, she was so um, excited. So she collects some cards from Catherine periodically that we aren't using anymore, and then we box them up, and she gets it all organized and sends it off to Cards for Kindness. So... Yay, Debbie, for spearheading yeah. that program here Absolutely. at Catherine Fuller Designs. All right, which one should go first? Which one should go on top? The red. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Mm -hmm. oh, so pretty. That hasn't dried that, completely that yet. Because that's loud. Yeah, it's going to dry it's back loud. Mm-hmm. But it's awesome. Okay, people are hollering out uh, cover plates that they goodness, sweat. So I don't know if they're saying that they want them or they have them. <laughs> but they're just saying this one's great and that one's great. So we'll have to figure that out. I need to, uh, I'm having issues with my, does this happen to you guys on your Burley Arts glue? You mess up the pin and then you can't get it all the way in. <laughs> Let's see how my Sizzix glue is. Can we use this? Is this going to work? There we go. Okay, was it clogged? Because I got it unclogged if it was. None was coming out, so. Okay. There we go. Okay. I will just put this coming back out in. Now? Yeah. Wonderful. Oh, Thank you. Use it if you choose it. <clears throat> oh! Jan John said this is her first live with us. Oh, welcome. And her, the inks are wowing her. Welcome. She's wowed. All right. So do you have any questions about the ink? And those of you that are CP Ink fans, drop a comment in the chat box and let everyone know what your favorite feature is or why you love the inks. They're pretty amazing. A whole bunch of you here, guys. Give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It helps the channel. So get in there. Say yay for cover plates. <laughs> <laughs> One thumb up for cover plate. <laughs> oh, that looks incredible. Look at that. We have some friends who are saying that they, they've never used a cover plate before oh. yet. They've not ventured into the world, Sue said. And um, a couple of other people said they haven't uh, got any yet. So All right. Um, so yeah. I need to get you into cover plates. I love place. using cover Oh what? My hemo. Yes. With the Santa mug. Oh uh, yeah. We are gonna need to tie that with something and then we need the sentiment. So last year when we released Holiday One Liners, I stamped and die cut a bunch of these and my stash has gotten low. So I've I've actually had these, I, I made a bunch of them and I've had them on my desk for over an entire year. Yeah. And my stash is low, so I was working on making some more and I just wanted to show you what I was doing. I'm using these guys. This is called 
Is this the notes, notes of, love? of love? So you made a jig. Yes. Okay. Template or jig, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And then I took these sentiments and lined them up here. And I then turned this around and lined them up there. And then I'm going to do my wow embossing pad. I'm going to stamp these two times at least when especially a kind of delicate thin lined stamp you may want to stamp several times with embossing ink to make sure you get full coverage. All right. going to take white embossing powder and these three I'm going to do in white. I can see I have a little excess powder right here. Right here I could just flick it off with my finger. Yeah. Thinking about that, guys, so um, one thing to know if you're new to embossing is your the, the oils from your fingers when you're holding the paper, a lot of times that will pick up the embossing powder, so that's probably what happened. And you can you wipe it off or take a little paintbrush and brush it off. And these I'm going to do in gold. Can you ink, ribbon, or twine? If you have white twine, you can ink that. You can ink ribbon too. I've done that before. And then sentiment stamp sets that go with joy. A joy guy. Holiday mix stamp set would be nice maybe to go with Joy. That one, I don't think we have that many left because it's an older one, but it has some mix and match word phrases in there that's holiday related and that would work well. That's the first thing that came to my mind. I think some of these sentiments would go also. Like, it's Christmas time, happiest season, very merry Christmas. Let's, uh, yeah, I think a few of these would work. Holiday hugs. The other one that I was thinking of is winter blessings, but I didn't pull that up. But you could try that one as well. Look on the site and read those and see what you think. I think using something like this. This is our scallop tag duo. Mm -hmm. And I die cut the outer scallop and then the circle out of the center, which you created a frame. Want me to cut the white ones yet, or? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you were gonna That's great. put ink on them. Yeah, and then a tat or a little frame like this is always really great to just kind of anchor the images on your card. You can also make a shaker card. I feel like this is lining up perfectly. And twine or embroidery thread actually to tie through. All right, I think that's this. Cross our fingers and toes. I got some parts too that um, Great. came out here. So I did these in white so that I could do direct to paper over 
the banners and have colored cardstock. In case you were wondering. Oh, I love the hearts. They're so cute. It's like an added but bonus. I think I'll mount this toward the top. It's going to be easier if I tack it down. Whoops, I got to get the backing off of that guy. Uh, Gloria, just joined Stamp Nation. How do I get the free cover plate? There is a code. If you go to the stampnation.com. She'll get an email too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh huh. Um, if Two you, places you can find it. Yeah, if you go to. Um, Learn, you'll see CPTV, and there is a post in there with the code. And yes, you, you should get an email once you sign up welcoming you, and the code will be in there as well. And if you have trouble locating, just email support at katherinepuller.com, and we'll help. Cute, cute, cute. I want to know from our friends when it comes to adding texture and interest to the backs of your cards currently, do you gravitate towards cover plates? Do you like to use stencils or do you prefer background stamps? What kinds of ways do you like to, or maybe pattern paper, what kind of ways do you like to incorporate more texture and um, color to your, or pattern to your backgrounds of your cards? I think Hope Santa Treats You Well is appropriate for this card. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> He's going to treat you to a cup of coffee. Yeah, he is. <laughs> and then that you put guy. A Starbucks gift card inside. Yes. Perfect. I have to say the um, oh, Capital One commercial with John Travolta dressed as Santa Claus is as Capital One would say, priceless right now. It's, mm. <laughs> that's a really cute one. Santa going around town, giving everybody treats, buying things, coffee, going John to the disco. In there. Yeah, dressed as Santa. Oh He's amazing. That's great. He does a staying alive dance at the end. <laughs> Wonderful. So this Santa cup I had in my stash. You guys know me. I like to die cut and color and stamp and die cut and have these little pieces on hand. Mm -hmm. And then you can just work on your background and pop some things up on the top. And this is, oh my gosh. I love it. So cute. Mm -hmm. I think I need a heart or two. What about some sequins? Do I need some of those? Um, I would love some sequins on your card. I was thinking, oops, of Christmas does Nashville work? Do do do. Are you there? Am I there? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Does Nashville work? Oh. I probably would want to use those creamy colored ones. Those are really pretty. Or, or the red. actually Big Apple has uh, very vibrant colors in it. Oh, that that lime green in there. Yeah. Yes. So one of those could yeah. work. Because I could use these. These are really pretty. And the little red sequins in here. Both of them would work. Just to add a little dab of glue there for my heart and then a couple for a few sequins. Okay, Stacy, what would you recommend using on Santa's hat with white puff embossing powder? Is there a fine detail embossing pen? Yes. Um, so you can also use this. Yep. Two and glue. there's a skinnier one. Mm -hmm. which yeah. I have. I it's a I don't see it right now. bullet point oh, instead of go. the chisel tip. Yeah. And then um, Tiffany said there's a Versamark pen. And then Wow has a brush that would work, but they also, do we have these? They have a pen, too. This. Do we still have these? Yes. So that's also an option, because I think that's a brush tip. Pull. Ready? It's a bullet. Oh, it is bullet. Bullet. Uh-huh. So that's good for fine detail as well. Yeah. Cute. Good yeah, so options. You have good several questions, options there. Stacey. 
our friends, I love these comments. Different things. Some of them just love using all. They like to mix things up. Love a 3D embossing folder. Um, oh, would like to use one, but haven't had luck with them. Huh. Uh, love pattern paper. Have a lot of it like to use that. Okay, that is so adorable. Background stamps, stencils. I oh, love it. so cute. Mm -hmm. I need to do this. I wanted to show you um, taking this and do doing it just with uh, the embossing. Okay. Here, let me so, give you this shot. Do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going to take our regular platform. You're going to remove one cutting plate, and you're going to remove this piece. Some of the platforms are hinged, so you're just going to pull that back. So you just have this piece. And Sizzix is awesome because they just give you pictures and all the instructions right on their platforms. Then we're going to do the white piece, the mat. This was weird to me, and I thought it wasn't true, but this is what you do. This goes straight down here <laughs> so that the blade... It's blade, paper, silicone mat. And just to reiterate, if you have something other than a big shot, I'm not exactly sure what works with it or this technique. But if you have a big shot, this is what you use. But yeah, those companies probably have information on what you would, what kind of um, platform accessory you would need to make this work. And then it just embosses your paper. This would be fun. Let's try this. I'm going to put my platform back together and scrap piece of cardstock. Oh, I still need that. I'm going to run this through one more time. So creative Cindy We're said she cut. struggles sometimes with gluing down like sequins or embellishments. Any like recommend? What's the struggle? Like placement or getting them to stick? Yep, or good question. What is... She said adhering, so I think she means getting them to stick. Oh. Maybe it's just the okay. choice of adhesive. Oh, some people are suggesting some different adhesives they think work well. I don't know. Yeah, I use this, or Sizzix glue, or Nubo glue. All right, so now we have little pieces, and I want to take a couple. I can't remember. I don't know if these are all exactly sized the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This one probably, probably fine to. They um I inlaid that one and then they they are pretty interchangeable. Okay, cool. Yeah. Girl, let's see. Maybe some grass skirt. That's always an interesting test when you go to do inlay. <laughs> is sometimes the patterns are exact so any of the petals will fit in any of the spots and sometimes they're not it's just designed differently and so if you drop a petal out and can't find it you can't just take a different petal and stick it in so you know you figure it out when you cut it and start playing with it yeah what works and doesn't work and sometimes it is a little bit of a hit or miss game until you get it right but Sometimes the pieces stay right where you want when you pull it, and sometimes they want to pop out and go everywhere. <laughs> so you yeah. gotta be. And I have no rhyme or reason for my placement. Right yeah, now. I was wondering I what your plan was. I don't have a plan. She has no plan. Random. That is the plan. And actually, this technique, if they didn't, if all these little petals weren't exactly sized the same and shaped the same. This technique laying them over the top, it's not going to matter because you won't really be able to tell. Oh, put some clear stickles over top. Mm. Oh, that, that work. So that's supposed to just add like gloss or, um, to, is it a little yeah. raised? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of giving it enamel yeah. look. So it's kind of like a medium that you use to add like glossy accents to your cards or projects. 
So she's saying you could put a little bit of that on the top of your sequin as well to kind of keep it from. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Those are great suggestions, guys. Thank you yeah, for I that. I love when you guys pop in with your expertise. Because not everyone knows everything. So we can all share and learn from each other. So I could do this for the next hour, but we gotta go to lunch. <laughs> um, yes. So <laughs> so good. So Catherine is using the Sizex. I don't know why. Yeah. What is that tool called? Actually, I was gonna say tool in one, but that's not what that's called. Mm. Jenny, I'll look. And then um, we also have another jewel picker as well. But any uh, so there's some different ones. Let me look. That is called... And then the sand eraser. I, I got ink all over. That's called the Intricate Craft Tool Set by Sizex. And it has like a gummy end and then the pointier end for doing projects like Catherine's doing it. It's a little bit tacky and it helps you pick it up and manipulate things. So I pulled out Naughty List... I still have some little guys in there from oh, so, so cute. playing around with those. Uh, Jolly Trees. I have a bunch of trees die cut from my recent Crafty Christmas episode, which you can find on the YouTube channel. I thought the Caroling Sentiments stamp set would be great if I didn't do these little inlay pieces and just did the joy to the world, die cut it and put it right in the center. Boom, you're done. Or the follow la 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 tree, or the present, any of them. It's going to be great. I love that snowman. Uh, the old St. Nick. Oh my gosh, I love this stamp set so much. I still have a bunch of these hanging around, so I could add anything from there. could always do snowflakes from the one-of-a-kind stamp set. And then our little village stamp set. I have a few of these houses ready to go could do those. I think also something like this, our round of Mary, just doing something over the top. Oh, that looks really pretty. I would probably put more of the pieces on mm -hmm. and then put that on. Um, adding a snowflake from Snow, Snow Many, Many Flakes. I always, this is a favorite of mine, the ho, ho, ho. And one thing that I love is mixing the ho with the ho, 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 ho holiday. <laughs> like that. Or you could just go ho, ho, holiday hugs. How cute is that? And just put it on the card with the textured embossing on the background. That's a wonderful choice. I pulled out my grateful dies that were from our recent release. I thought that would look really pretty over cover plate. So many options. And then I also, look at this. This is something I have laying on my desk. This needs to make its way onto a card. Don't forget, I'm gonna give away a free cover plate for somebody who comments, mm -hmm. so. Isn't that cute from the jar full of joy? Totally needs to go. Noel, very Merry Christmas. Hope Santa treats you well. I've got mistletoe. This little treatment right here would be really cute over the top of a um, cover plate. Uh, where did my little animals go? I thought just this. The cat in the tree. How funny is that? <laughs> that is so fun. Over the top or down here. And then I've got mistletoe. Super cute. Let's do the direct paper on that. Okay. Uh, Get your scratch paper off. Let's do. Do you guys bed. call it scratch paper or scrap paper? Because I instinctively call it scratch paper, but I saw someone recently say scrap and I was like, oh, that makes sense. So then I wondered. I call it scratch. Scratch. 
I think probably either way. Yep. I think I sometimes say scrap. Well, I might oh. say I take a piece of scrap paper. Uh-huh. But if I... <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. Scratch paper. Hilarious. Okay, I think, I think I'm abandoning that for now. I know. I was thinking you could put that on top and then mm -hmm. cover up your boo-boos. So yeah, I've got boo-boos all over. So oh, you know no. what? Let's let's make this green. Let's make this. Is this clean? <laughs> it looks oh, like yeah. you might have like garden party ears. Oh, you're going grass skirt. Oh, wow. Okay. Garden party's right here. Let's do garden party. I like it. I said, wow. Wow. Look what you're about to do. I was like, well, she's going to go dark with that. I mean, you can. So if you just go straight down, you're going to get a more solid. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I need to take control of the situation. Yeah, your hands are dirty. My messy. hands are inky. Can I cut you another petal connection cover plate? <laughs> well, I could put that tree right over that. Yes. Or you can cut me another one. I, I don't know. Are you bothered? I don't know. I'm sad for your pedal connection. Let's do another drama here. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's connect. Okay. So you can go. This is called playful pinwheels. Let me give it a like name. that. Get a more solid look. Or you can swipe. And then you'll get. Oh, that. I think I'm going to swipe when you give me. All right. Let's do it. Here's your fresh and clean one. Okay. And actually, if you swipe, let's do this. Go behind this. and leave yeah. the top white. Okay. So when you are doing direct to paper, just a quick note. These pads are foam. They can tear. So you got to be gentle. So gentle swiping. Make sure your surface is clean. You don't want to pick up glitter or any solvents or contaminants or other ink onto your pad because it could contaminate your pad over time and compromise the integrity of the foam. So just be really mindful of that. It's a great technique, but just take care. So this stamp is from the Naughty Pets stamp set because they're naughty little pets. They are. Mm -hmm. Oh. Shoot. Let's see. What? I picked a comment. Oh. <laughs> just... <laughs> I wanted to see. Sorry. Well, you got to go. Oh, you got it? All right. There. Look, so that's lots cool. of squat scraps. And then a few scratch. And then some people who have massive theories about them. <laughs> cute, cute. Yeah, you could. That looks pretty cool. So cute. Yeah, a lot of things you can do. Add this to a card print. What's that glue called? That Sizzix glue. What's the name of it? Sizzix Quick Drying Express Glue. Uh huh. Okay. That's really nice. So cute. Just reading through to see if I missed any other questions. You guys are having a ball today. We're having fun up in yeah. here. Creating with cover plates. I love too that like you just showed them that cover plates are really versatile because you can use a lot of them as stencils. You can layer them up. So you can really stretch your supplies when it comes to using your cover plates. That is super cute. I want to kiss that little kitty. He's got mistletoe. <laughs> He's so naughty. Yes. Naughty little guy. These bright colors are really fun, too, for yes. your holiday cards. Yeah, so do you all prefer bright party colors, highly saturated colors, or do you like the more muted colors like in our spa line? The more... Kind of sophisticated look. Which do you prefer? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
They were talking about uh, scraps of stuff that you hold on to. I think we mm. all have like little stashes of things that we started or background pieces that we had worked on or somewhere where we ended up with a twofer and we used one and not the other. <laughs> and you just hoard them, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have a winner? You chose one and then I oh, messed it up. I know. I don't know. I have to go back through. I just kind of like okay. um, swirled and found someone mm -hmm. who said a cover plate that they liked. So you can just do that. Keep swirling. <laughs> where where were they talking about what cover plates they want? Up higher. <laughs> then they got talking about something else. Yep, there's one. Jennifer Sipula. There How do you go. say that? Deepest, darkest Peru. So, yay! Email support at capinpuller.com and you get the deepest, darkest Peru cover plate for free. Oh, look. Ooh, yay! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. This was fun. So fun. I love your cards, too. Thank you. Which one is your favorite? I really like how the Argyle card came out. I mean, I love that kitty cat so much, but I just think this is really fun. Really eye-catching. So adorable. Well, friends, hope your day is amazing. We will be back here on Sunday at 7 p.m., with our next video in the Crafty Christmas series. There is one more after that. So we have seven all together. I don't know how to make I know, it you gotta like, go back to where well, it was, where oh, that was. It'll just stay up there. Jennifer's acknowledged. Jennifer She's gonna email gonna support. Stay in there. All right, <laughs> so thank you so much for being with us today. Give us a, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah. 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. What did I say? You were saying that you didn't. And get I that got distracted. Mm -hmm. I, I interrupted I you. I came to the next, next, uh, whatever. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Have a great day, guys.